most of the students and beginning researchers do not completely understand what exactly a research proposal means nor do they understand its significance to put it straightforwardly once research is only as good as one's proposal an ill comprehended proposal dooms the project even if it somehow gets through the dissertation supervisory committee a high quality proposal on the other hand not only promises success for the project but also impresses your thesis committee about your potential as a researcher a research proposal is envisioned to prove your supervisory committee that you have a worthwhile research project and that you have the capability and the work plan to complete it so in general a research proposal must cover all the key components involved in the research process and include adequate data for the uh, readers to evaluate the proposed study irrespective of your research area and the methodology you decide on all research proposals have an obligation to address the following and most influential questions those include what you plan to achieve why you want to prepare it and how you are going to do it the proposal should always have appropriate and adequate data to convince or persuade or satisfy your dissertation or pro project uh, supervisory committee that you have an important uh, research knowledge that you have a worthy grip of the relevant literature and the key issues and that your methodology is thoughtful the excellence of your research proposal is subjected not only on the quality of your proposed project on the other hand also on the quality of your your proposal writing you should always keep it in mind and ensure your research proposal writing is coherent clear and convincing oh let us understand the the format or the structure of the research proposal a research proposal should always begin with the research title so the research title should be concise and expressive so an effective research title not only impresses the supervisory committee but also inclines their positivity in the direction of the proposal abstract so abstract is a brief summary of just about 250 to 300 words it should uh, comprise of the research question the rationale for the study the hypothesis if there is any the method and the key findings descriptions of the method may contain the design procedures the samples and any tools that will be used 
introduction the key purpose of the introduction is to deliver the required background or perspective for your research problem so the introduction normally starts with a general statement of the problem area with an emphasis on a specific research problem to be followed by a rationale or reasoning for the proposed study the introduction commonly covers the following essentials articulate the research problem which is frequently referred to as the purpose of the study provide the background and set the platform for your research question in such a way as to demonstrate its necessity and significance state the rationale of your proposed study and evidently specify why it is worth doing concisely describe the main issues to be addressed by your research articulate your hypothesis or theory if any set the limitations of your proposed research in order to provide a strong focus literature review at times the literature review is merged into the uh, introduction section on the other hand most of the supervisors prefer a separate section which which permits a more systematic review of the literature the literature review provides a number of vital purposes it makes uh, it uh, it exhibits your understanding of the uh, research problem uh, it shows your understanding of the theoretical and uh, research issues related to your research question uh, it demonstrates your skills to to critically evaluate uh, related uh, literature material it's it specifies your capability to integrate and synthesize the existing literature it delivers innovative theoretical perceptions it induces your supervisor that your proposal research will make a significant and considerable contribution to the literature most uh, researchers uh, or students literature reviews face difficulties from the uh, following complications missing organization and structure lacking attention focus and coherence being m m monotonous and lengthy failing to mention prominent sources failing to keep up with contemporary developments failing to critically evaluate cited sources mentioning inappropriate or irrelevant or unimportant references there are different techniques to shape your literature review make use of subheadings to bring direction and uh, coherence to your review uh, it is also uh, supportive to keep uh, in mind that you are saying a story to an audience or uh, readers so try to say the story in an uh, exciting and appealing mode 
next methods so the method uh, section is very central for the reason that it expresses your supervisor or dissertation committee how you plan to deal your research problem it will provide your work your work plan and describe the undertakings required for the completion of your task you need to prove your understanding of alternative methods and make the case that your method is the most suitable and most effective way to address your research question so you always have to keep in mind that your uh, research question may be best answered by uh, qualitative research on the other hand since most typical uh, psychologists are still subjective against uh, qualitative research so you may need to uh, justify your uh, qualitative method so additionally uh, since there are no well uh, recognized uh, and extensively uh, accepted rule books in qualitative analysis your method section needs to be more elaborate than what is required for traditional uh, quantitative research so more importantly the data collection process in qualitative research has a far superior influence on the outcomes as compared to uh, quantitative research so when it comes to quantitative studies the method section normally comprises of the following sections design or uh, subjects or participants instruments or tools and procedure these are the sections come under this um, chapter so when it comes to design you have to understand uh, whether it is a questionnaire study or a laboratory experiment and uh, what sort of uh, design are you going to choose so subjects or participants when it comes to this section uh, you have to understand who will take part in your study and what kind of sampling process are you going to use so instruments or tools so what kind of measuring uh, instruments or questions do you use uh, why do you choose them and are they valid and uh, reliable so the procedure so how do you plan to carry out your study what activities are involved how long does it take so these are the important questions you have to answer in quantitative studies outcomes or results obviously you do not have outcomes or results at the proposal stage nevertheless you need to have some knowledge about what sort of information you will be gathering and what statistical techniques will be used in order to answer your research question or test your hypothesis discussion it is vital to persuade and convince your uh, research supervisor or reader of the potential impact of your proposed research you need to communicate a sense of passion and self-reliance without uh, overstating and uh, 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 overstating the evidences of your proposal so that is why you also need to mention the limitations of the proposed research which may be justified by time and financial constraints as well as by the early developmental stage of your research area so here are um, a few common inaccuracies in research proposal writing failure to deliver the appropriate and um, and accurate background to structure the research question 
fail you to define the boundary conditions for your research failures to cite milestone references failure to correctly present the theoretical and empirical contributions by other researchers failure to stay focused on the research question failure to develop a coherent and convincing argument for the proposed research too lengthy or too undersized and finally fa failing to uh, follow the referencing style 